better understanding of what is working in the witness centric world. So let me let me start with this. Let me get a lot of this out of the way and we'll start discussing this. When I go out and I look on the network and I have in, in Explorer, Microsoft provides you a little tool that you can double click and it will go out and search the network. Now normally when you do that on your PC out, out there in the campus, you're going to see a whole lot of computers. Right now I've got a, a um, home router between me and OCPS. So right now all I see is the router itself. Okay, and I'll, I'll explain more of that later. But in networking, when I use the UNC and I type in VWP uh, SO4, what is it I'm seeing? Devices. First of all, remember this, when, when I type in this when I make that notation, when I put in backslash, backslash, VWP SO4, what is that telling? What is that? What is universal, what is universal Naming Convention? It is. The backslash, backslash is the uh, Universal Naming Convention. It tells the operating system you are looking for a host name. And then you type it in, VWP SO4 then it's going to go on the network and look for that host name. And when it does find that host name, if that device has shared resources to the network, you should see them. True? Yes. Okay. How did that happen? How did, how did SO4, how was it able to make folders, contracts, new folder, users, stuff, visible to you? So I want to show you how this works. It works off of a, two things. Let's go take a look. Number one, the way that any PC, listen carefully, the way that any PC can make itself visible to the network is through a service running on the PC. The only way a Windows device can make itself visible to the network is a specific service is running on that PC. Let's go take a look at it. I'm opening up Computer Management Console. I've got the Services tab, and I'm going to scroll all the way down to S's. Everyone see that? That is so important. That is a service running on most of your PCs, and it's called what? Server. Now, when you think of server, immediately you think of a piece of hardware, it's a Dell, HP server. So I'm going to take you and, and make you understand that in order to be a server, that means a PC, a tablet, a laptop, that service must run. If I turn it off, you cannot be visible on the network. You're gone. Okay, now wait. You, you just can't be seen. Everyone hear that very, very carefully. Yeah. If I go to SO4 right now, and I go into the computer management console, and I say, turn off server service, guess what happens to all of that? It disappears. It disappears. <laughs> okay? Now think about it. If your boss says, I do not want any of our workstations to be visible on the network, what would you do? Like, why would he say that, though? For security reasons. Oh, okay. Because I got nosy little guys who went to Winter Park Tech, and they know how to get on the network and look. Yeah. Server services is the software that allows any, listen, any PC to become a what? It's a metal, it's a Server. Hmm. That's how you're seen on the network. That's how you share a folder to the network. That's how you share your printer to the network. So any Windows machine that has server services run and is working can become, can become a what? A server. server. VWP SO4, the only reason it's able to share these resources where I can share a folder to the network, I share printers to the network, the only reason it can do that is because on that 
server, I actually have a service running called server, and it's on, and I can actually share resources to the network. Now, I want you to go look at something else. I'm going to go look at um, another device. I'm going to go to VWP. Um, what computer are you at, Isaac? You're at V126 dash. Let's just do SO1. I think SO1 is on. I think that's Jeremy. What do you see? Nothing. I'm looking at Jeremy's from the network. What do you see? Nothing. Now, notice it didn't say I can't see anything. It just simply says that Jeremy, I do see Jeremy because had I not seen Jeremy, I would have gotten something like this. Let me show you what would happen if the PC was not on the network or was totally invisible. Yes? Listen. So I'm just going to pick up. I'm just gonna that just pick. means he's not sharing anything, right? That's right. I can see him, though. Let me show you one that, that is not visible. So I'm going to look at uh, VWP uh, 850. I'm just going to type in some numbers. Please. All right. See, notice what it did. It didn't. Notice when I went to Jeremy, it just said, I found him, but nothing is shared. I can't. But notice this one didn't do that. This one came back and said, it doesn't exist. Yes? Everyone notice the difference? This one came back and it took a while. It went out and there was an error routine. It was trying to find it. It said, is there a computer out there? It was trying to find it. And finally came back and said, so I don't, uh, you know, you need to retype your characters because you just are not even close. Yes? But if I go and look here, if I go and I do that again with Jeremy's, because I can tell you right now, Jeremy's server service is on. It's got to be S on. Sorry. So notice, notice it said, I can't find that one. Yes? Yes. But guess what? It doesn't give me that same error message with Jeremy's box because his server service is on. Okay? So, is he sharing anything? No. No, no but he is on the network and I can see him. Now, notice right now, can I, he doesn't have anything shared, but I can see that he is there. In fact, I could ping him and find he was there. Now, listen very carefully. Without the right credentials, it looks like Jeremy is not sharing anything. True? Well, let me show you something. I'm going to go to Computer Management Console, back, and I want to go to the shared folder. I'm looking at this laptop, but it's the same as Jeremy's, and I want you to look at the shares. Does everyone see that? Yep. Those are three shares. When you turn on, listen carefully. The minute you flip the switch and you turn on server services, those are on. One is called admin dollar sign, and it takes you right into what? Windows. The other one is called C dollar sign, and it takes you right into the what? C drive. The root. And there's another one called IPC dollar sign, and that is called the inter-process communication share, and that is used by applications, not by you. There are three over here on Jeremy. Look, I'm going to click over here. I don't, I don't want to lose. Because he has a server service running. Although he doesn't have anything visible, yes? I promise you that is there and that is there. Watch. I'm going to type in admin. Spell it admin. What? When I hit enter, where should I go in his PC? Windows. I'm in his first record. Where should I go? Windows. 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 Yes? Mm -hmm. If I type that in correct, I should be able to get right into... Windows. Who, who wants to guess where I'm going to be at? Where do you think I am? System. I'm in his Windows directory. Now... Jeremy's over there, you don't have a clue, okay? <laughs> I could go in and start deleting files, and he would be really, um, very, very upset. But I'm in his, so when you turn on server services, 
It doesn't mean that you can see folders and files, but there are always shares, this one, admin dollar sign, and let me go back. There should also be what? C dollar sign. Everyone say that? So here we go. Oops, gotta type the right one. Watch what happens. Where do you think I'm at now? Root. I'm in his root directory. Do you see how powerful that is? We can do this from our computers? Yes. Now, who has rights to do this? Okay? So being Can I get on every single root directory of every single computer on this campus if server services is on? Can I? Yes. Yes, yes I can. But now here's the question. Can Isaac do it? No. Oh. He wants can to. Kirsten do it? <laughs> Let me show you who can do it. So here's careful. You must be a member of what group? Administrators. So if you're not in this group, you do not come through those shares. Yes? So you can't do them on the lab computers? You could do it on the lab. You, you have administrative rights to all those machines. So you can pop a desktop or a laptop, in fact. All right, watch, here we go. All right, everyone notice what happened. Did it find his laptop? Yes. His service service is? Right. On. Is he sharing anything? Not that we can see. see. But I've already told you, soon as server service comes on, what? is shared, whether he likes it or not. Mm -hmm. Yes? So could it be that it has... This service? is going to be shared, this is going to be shared, and this is going to be shared. Now listen, can anyone turn those off? Let's look at me. When server service goes on, no one, no one can turn those off. That's part of the operation. It's the way it works. So you can't change it to like maybe no. a system system? No, it not will not allow you. This is a set operation set. You can guarantee it when you go to any company anywhere in the world. When you turn on server services, those shares are available and you can access them only if you are in the administrator group. So let me go in his machine. Let me show you. Just to show you, because I know you guys aren't believing me. <laughs> Admin, dollar what? Sign. Yes? Windows. Am I in his Windows directory? Does, does Otto know it? He don't have a clue. And can I go in his root directory? You bet I can. Are you seeing that? Now look at me. This is huge. Why does Microsoft do this? Why does, it, why does it always have these shares? Why is server service so critical to everything? When I have a PC on the network and server service is running, it is technically a what? Server. Server. Now, notice he didn't have anything shared, he didn't have anything shared, and, and Jeremy didn't have any shared, but it did it stop me from going in. No. The only way that Otto can prevent me getting in his box is if he turns off server services. And now I'm stopped. Okay, everybody there? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. What if you're already in there when he turns it off? It'll kick me out. Okay. Okay? Now listen carefully. Why did Microsoft do this? Why did Microsoft Every Windows PC, normally installed, normally configured, will always have server service running and admin dollar sign and C dollar sign will always be shared to an administrator. Why? Well, that working we're interconnectivity. We're confirming that though? Look, look at me. Because Microsoft wanted to give you, as an IT pro, the power to have access, deploy applications, push a script, do anything you knew, so you could manage not one machine, but 10,000. Mm -hmm. That's why it's there. That's why you can't turn it off. Because those are strictly for administrators. Does that make sense? With the power of going in the root directory, can I do, what, what can I do? 
anything. I can run scripts on your box. I can run, I can push applications. I can push anything, do anything to your PC, and you don't have a clue I'm doing it. That's how we can administer 10,000 boxes from one SSCM console. Because those shares are always available. So let's go take a look. I want, um, so Otto, I want you to go to your computer, computer management console and I want you to go find services and I want you to turn off server service. So I'm in his box right now hoping to do evil and nasty things right on his box. He is going to go into his computer management console. He's going to click services and he's going to turn off the service and we're going to watch what happens. Let me know when you do it. Mm -hmm. Is it done? Yeah. Okay, so he stopped server services. Watch what's going to happen. I'm going to refer. <laughs> I didn't have to do anything. Yeah. What happened? Yep, it's going. Can I even watch this? Can I even see him on the network? <laughs> Look at me. How can you become invisible on the network? I just showed you. Mm -hmm. So if you're in a Starbucks and it looks like an evil person is on the three tables down and he's got all kinds of computer stuff and you're thinking, he ain't going to get me. All you got to do is turn off what service? Server. You just disappeared. Okay. Yeah. You're telling me someone can that easily connect to your computer? Over a network like that? No, he would have to be an administrator on your PC. It's not that easy. Okay. But how many people, how many people even good put good passwords on their yeah. administrator account? How many people even protect their PCs halfway decent? Yes, mm -hmm. their password for administrator is password. So server service either opens the door or closes a door for you being visible on a, uh, on a network. Okay? Everybody there? So it's a great thing. You've got to know it. Now, turn it back on. We always, in a domain enterprise environment, server services always on because we have to manage PCs. Boom. Because we need to be able to access Windows, and we need to be able to access what? The root directory. The root directory. And this share right here allows us to communicate with various processes on his machine. We can run scripts, we can, we can run backup, we can do all kinds of things on his PC with those three shares. Those are only administrative shares, they're not for anybody else.